over you today. This is the day you are coming out of that affliction. This is the day you are coming out. This is the day you are coming out. When men shall say there is a casting down, I shall say there is a lifting up. Why? Because I am carrying the master. But because the donkey was carrying Jesus, he was stepping on health, stepping on victory, stepping on breakthrough, stepping on prosperity. Without a clear understanding of purpose, people invest their energy, invest their passion, doing things they were never meant to do. Poverty thinking people cry for money, fast for money, pray for money, but covenant thinking people cry for wisdom. Hello there, Sule Emmanuel is my name. The word of God is life. The word of God is power. The word of God reveals the will of God. The word of God exposes us to the mindset of God. The word of God gives us the language of God. The word of God is the seed for creating anything. The word of God releases unusual authority. The word of God is the builder of the spirit. The word of God in you determines your spiritual stature and your spiritual stamina. Join me every Thursday and Saturday for Power to Excel on Celebration TV. Thursdays and Saturdays by 7.30 p.m. for Power to Excel on Celebration TV. On Power to Excel, lives are transformed, lives are renewed, lives are revived, lives are restored by the power of God's word. Thursdays and Saturdays by 7.30 p.m. Connecting to the grace upon the life of God's oracle, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, I decree that your season changes for the best from now. Impossibilities are becoming possibilities. Every mountain of opposition against you is grinded to powder right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Always remember this. No matter what men are saying against you, so long they are not God, your words will not stand. The Lord bless you. Stuck in trade of the devil to, to persistently attack people he knows carry destiny. He does not know how God will make your greatness manifest. He does not know how the prophecy on your head will come to pass. So he comes from every angle. So there's a health challenge, there's a financial challenge, there's a marital challenge. He's trying everything he can just to frustrate the prophecy. Somebody said the devil is a liar. No matter how you pray, huh? listen carefully now. You may pray, you may fast. There are times God will say, Leave a place. Because there are people who have discovered the place is wrong and they are fasting in that place. God said to Abraham, Leave your father's house. There are times where a relocation is needed for destiny to manifest. Is somebody with me here? So when you find yourself in a wrong environment, and that's why it's important that when you notice certain things are not going well in your life, haven't prayed, it's important to engage the Holy Ghost. Spirit of God, open my eyes. Where have I gotten it wrong? In, in, what, in what way have I, made, have I made wrong decisions? In what way have I entered a wrong canopy? In what way have I submitted my head to a wrong place? And as you engage the Spirit of God, as you pray, God is committed to revealing. He said, ask, seek, knock. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. He said in his word. He said, if you ask and you do not doubt in your heart what you have asked for, you receive it. So when you notice that it is not going well, it's important to engage the Holy Ghost. Lord, open my eyes. How have I entered the wrong place? Lord, open my eyes. How have I submitted my head to a wrong territory? Is somebody with me now? It's important. No matter how much Jacob prays, he needs to leave Laban. Are, are you getting me? Le, no, no matter how. In fact, the, the prayer is not just to source it in Laban's house. The prayer is to leave Laban. Is somebody with me now? Can I pray for someone in this meeting? 
in the name that is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray for you today from my heart. Any man or woman that has gained entrance into your life just to frustrate your destiny, as you shout your amen now, I chase them out. I chase them out of your life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand above your head. You're going to say this with me. And you're going to address it in prayer. Say every wrong place. Say every wrong place. That I have entered. That has brought satanic attacks upon my life say every wrong place i have entered that has brought satanic attacks upon my life as i pray now i receive my deliverance i receive my deliverance i receive my deliverance open your mouth open your mouth break out of that place break out of that place nullify your powers open your mouth open your mouth Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift your hand above your head now. Say every evil hand, every evil hand disturbing my star, every evil hand disturbing my star as I pray now. Receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Every evil hand from the pit of hell manipulating your star. Take fire. Shayara gada bossa, ekada dada kuta, akriko to berada so, eroda de, aruda le gada berada kara gada gada kuta. Jesus take your seat for a while number three what is the third trigger the third vehicle the third medium of repeated battles number three disobedience to divine instruction you see that in first Samuel 13 verses 1 to 14 disobedience to divine instruction every advancement in life is sponsored by an instruction Every advancement, every divine promotion you seek must be connected to an instruction. So if there's a place you desire to attain, an instruction is connected to it. Abraham, you need a son. There's something you must do. Abraham, you want to be father of many nations. Something must be done. Joseph, you want to become prime minister. Something must be done. Every advancement you seek, is connected to an instruction. But the problem is, many of us hear the instruction. Either we don't obey or we choose what to obey. 
either we don't obey what God is saying or we select what to obey selective obedience so we do what pleases us and this opens the door for the devil Psalms 119 verse 67 before I was afflicted I went astray so the affliction could not come if I did not go astray it was because I disobeyed the devil came in is somebody with me here you study very well because of the disobedience of Saul he faced repeated battles for the 40 years of his reign Re one battle to another one battle to another one affliction to another how did it come about first Samuel 13 he disobeyed God he opened himself to the devil you see another man in scripture called Jonah the Lord sent him somewhere Jonah go to this place for my sake and Jonah gave himself another location so when he got there even God decided by himself to torment him is somebody getting me now it is impossible to live in disobedience to God and not expect to be afflicted by the devil are you getting me now? Because your, obe your obedience, your obedience is your defense. Your disobedience makes you naked. Is somebody getting me at all? Your obedience is your spiritual protection. Your disobedience makes you exposed. Jonah got to Nineveh. And Jonah went to Tashish. Listen, child of God, for every instruction that God has given you, every instruction that has come out from the mouth of God's prophet, I beg you in the name of Jesus, do not be selective of what to obey. Do not be selective. Mary said to the disciples, he said, you want to see him work wonders? You want to enjoy progress in destiny? Whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. Whatsoever. So you, you must get to a point in your life where you submit your will 100% to his will. You submit your appetite. You submit your choices 100% to his choices. Where the ways of God become your rule in life. The, the ways of God, the principles of God becomes your rule in life. Have you not seen when someone is in school? You are in an institution, a boarding house or some hostel. Practically every serious-minded educational institution, there are rules and regulations. And so long you are in that school, you obey. E even if you are rich, even if you went to school, you have a PhD. So long you came to that institution, you so I, I, is somebody getting me now? That's how the word of God should be to you. It's your rule and regulation for life. When you submit yourself, he says, thou shalt not do this, you don't do it. He says, thou shalt do this, you do it committedly. He said, do this to your brother, you do it. Do this to your sister, you do it. Do this for my service, you do it. He said, be a committed tighter, you obey. Everything he says, you committedly. Even when it is not convenient. When you live that kind of life, it is impossible for the devil to touch you. The devil is doing all he can to tear down marriages. Even Christian homes are not spared. And his focus is on the men because the devil knows men are the heads and priests of their home. However, God is in the business of countering the devil's plan. There is a material through which God wants to actualize his aim for men. And it is titled, Godly Husbands wanted this classic material is an empowerment book for every man and for that special woman in his life in this timely material you will discover the exceptional qualities of a godly husband how to be a role model to your wife and children how to stand strong against the strategies of the devil to break your home and how to stand firm with God to fulfill his purpose for your marriage. This book is indeed a collection of powerful wisdom secrets from the word of God on how to be a husband after God's heart, a delight to your wife and a role model father to your children. This book teaches men and also teaches single ladies what to look out for in a godly husband and it empowers every married woman to assist their husband and becoming what God expects him to be. 
This book is another classic from the renowned author and pastor, Sule Emanuel, inspired to minister wisdom, direction, restoration, and harmony to marriages all over the world. Enjoy the wit, the wisdom, and the dynamic insights in this powerful book, and your life and your marriage will never be the same again. To order for copies and have it delivered to you anywhere in the world, please call plus 234-803-577-6676 or plus 234-705-485-1181 or plus 2771-2303-530 or plus 2711-06 six six three four two you can also get copies at our bookshop at omega fire ministry international headquarters Aochi edo state nigeria or omega fire ministry ramberg south africa you can also make purchases online when you visit www.sulemanuel.com the electronic version of this book is also available on our website for all inquiries send an email to info at sulemanuel.com god bless you Hello friends, this is Pastor Sule Emmanuel. Do you desire to be in a church where you will be taught the Word of God and the ways of God in a simple and practical manner? Do you need a church that is passionate and determined to see that you prosper and succeed in life? Do you need a praying church with never-ending testimonies and miracles? Do you desire to be part of a church where absolute holiness within and without is preached? Do you need a church where you enjoy quality mentorship from your pastor? Do you need a church where every member is a cherished part of one big united family? Do you desire to be in a church where your spiritual gift will be nurtured and used to the glory of God? If your answer is yes, then I invite you to join us at Omega Fire Ministry Ramberg, the land of increase, corner Paris Avenue and Bordex Drive. Opposite Ramberg Taxi Rank, Ramberg, Johannesburg, South Africa. You can give us a call at plus 27-110-666-342 or plus 27-110-427976 or plus 27-712-303-5673. Please visit our website at www.ofmsouthafrica.co.za. You can send us an email to info at ofmsouthafrica.co.za. Join us at any of our solution services. On Sundays, the first service is a fruitfulness service which starts at 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the second service is our Destiny Restoration Service, which starts at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesday, Insight for Exploit Service, 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Friday, Healing and Deliverance Service, 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, Breakthrough Prayer Hour, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m last friday of the month fire and miracle night 10 p.m till dawn ofm ramberg a home to a great people experiencing the miraculous and growing in a deeper relationship with jesus every day Turn there, please. I'm Psalm 19, verse 67. I want us to see it together. Psalm 19, verse 67. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I think it's important that even as we round up tonight's service, that we just connect to the mercy of God. That in any way I've disappointed you, Father. And I've opened up myself to the attacks of the enemy. Let your mercy speak for me. Is somebody with me here? In every way I've fallen short of your glory. 
and have become exposed to the enemy. Tonight, I connect to your mercy. Is somebody still here? Psalms 119, verse 67. Are we all there? Psalms 119 verse 67. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Are you seeing this now? My obedience has become my defense. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. This attack could not have come to my life, to my heart, to anything that concerns me if I did not go astray. Child of God, when you open the door to the devil, expect to be beaten by the enemy. When you disobey God, when you flout the orders of God, when there's something that is clear about what God is saying about your life, about your purpose, listen now, one way many of us disobey God, there are things God tells us to do but we do what is appealing to the eyes. There are times God tells you, don't, don't, don't enter that career. Choose this one. This will profit you. But because everybody is talking, everybody has been drumming one particular direction to you, you follow that path. There are times God inspires in your heart and says, do this for me. Get out in the street this day. Make sure three persons are one to me this day. Preach the gospel with passion. Let somebody see your light and glorify me. As that word comes, maybe as the word of God is being preached, the spirit of God is ministering to us. As that word comes, you look at yourself. How can I do it? Take note now. It was not your instruction. It was his instruction. Every time God gives an instruction, there is grace that comes with it. Is somebody with me now? Every time God gives an instruction, check very well. Every person that God has used for exploit, they never had ability. From Moses to the disciples. What did Peter know? What did Matthew know? Is somebody getting me now? But as God picked them, God graced them. So every time God gives you an instruction, every time God tells you to go in a particular direction, do not look at your limitations. Do not look at your inabilities. Do not look at your past. Do not look at your lacks. So long he spoke to you, he has looked in your direction. Is somebody getting me at all? So long he spoke to you, so long he ministered to you, grace has been released to you. Is somebody with me now? I pray for everyone today in the name of Jesus. Any mistake you have made in the past that has opened the door to the enemy, any mistake, any act of disobedience you made in the past that has given entrance to the devil, I decree by the mercy of God, your deliverance begins today. Your deliverance begins today. Your deliverance begins today. Your deliverance begins today. In the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand above your head now. Say God of restoration. Say God of restoration. Arise. 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 Restore my life. Say God of restoration. Arise. Restore my life. Open your mouth and pray right now. God of restoration. God of restoration. God of restoration. By your mercy, restore my life. 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 By your mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're going to take this prayer with all your heart. With all your heart. You're going to address this. And I believe the heaven is open to someone this day. As your petitions leave your mouth, they are sent to the heavens. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand now. Say, my father. Say, my father. As I pray now. My father. As I pray now. Let the seed of repeated affliction. Let the seed of repeated problems. Let the seed of repeated attacks in my life dry up dry up dry
dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Open your mouth right now. Let the seed of repeated attacks, let the seed of repeated affliction dry up now, dry up now, dry up now, dry up now, dry up now. Yakabosa, Rokutu Berete Berete Sota, Alabaradadadadadadash. Open your mouth. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, concerning that specific condition that you have spoken to God about, I don't know what it is called, but concerning that specific condition that you have spoken to the heavens about, just as Eli released the answer of Hannah, I stand in that capacity today to say your prayers are answered by fire. Your prayers are answered by fire. Your prayers are answered by fire. In the name of Jesus. I decree testimonies. I decree testimonies concerning that petition, concerning that area you have cried to God about. I decree testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, for answers to prayers, confirming your word with signs and wonders. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hello there, Sule Emmanuel is my name, Pastor Omega Fire Ministry, Randberg, in Johannesburg, South Africa. It is a home to a great people experiencing the miraculous and growing in a deeper relationship with Jesus every day. Are you tired of spiritual dryness? Do you desire to grow in your work with God? Do you desire to be in a place where you'll experience the grace and the glory of God in a new dimension? I invite you to be my guest this Sunday by 9 a.m. for a destiny restoration and fruitfulness service at Omega Fire Ministry in Randburg. At every service in OFM Randburg, the power of God is present to heal, to save, to restore, and to deliver destinies. At OFM Randburg, God is turning the zeros of yesterday to heroes today, giving hope to the hopeless, giving direction to destinies. So it does not matter where you are in life now. It doesn't matter what life has dealt you with. As you become a part of these houses, you join me this Sunday by 9 a.m. The God of Apostle Johnson Suleiman will put a smile on your face and you will experience a turnaround in your story. But if you live in East London, in Mpumalanga, in Jeminstein, in Pretoria, in Mamilodi, we've got amazing grace-soaked worship centers in this location. And there are firebrand preachers waiting to receive you this Sunday, also by 9 a.m. Call the number on your screen right now and you'll be told the address of our church in East London, in Mpumalanga, in Jeminstein, in Pretoria, in Mamilodi, you know, so you can be part of what God is doing in this great commission. But if you live anywhere in Johannesburg, be my guest this Sunday in Randburg for a destiny restoration encounter. Your life will never be the same again. Jesus will meet you at the point of your need. The address again is Omega Fire Ministry, Randburg, Corner Paris Avenue and Bordeaux Drive, opposite the Randburg Taxi Rank, Randburg in Johannesburg. You may call the number that's displayed on the screen now. Someone is waiting to speak with you and provide further assistance how you can be part of our service this Sunday. I'm looking forward to receiving you, to praying for you, and to trusting God to do new things in your life. I pray for you today that your season of rest begins from now. Your season of enlargement begins from now. Whoever has vowed to use what they have to cause you tears, may God use what he has to cause them tears. I decree that this year you will experience favor like never before. I'm looking forward to receiving you this Sunday by 9 a.m. at Omega Fire Ministry Randwick. The Lord bless you. Thank you.